Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a snowflake scatter brush in Photoshop. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have images to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So here's the image that I want to add some snowflakes to and the first thing that we need to do is create our brush. So this is the shape of the snowflake that I want to use. So all I have to do since it's already black on white is go over and click edit, define brush preset, and give it a name. And now if I go back into my background and I select my brush tool, you'll see that I have my brush up here in the brushes palette. Now if I click and drag on my canvas, you'll see what happens and that's obviously not what we're after. So now I'm going to show you how you can turn that single snowflake into a scatter brush. First thing that I want to do is come into my brush palette. First I'm going to turn on shape dynamics. This allows me to randomize the size and the rotation of the brush when I start painting and dragging on my canvas. So I'm going to set the size jitter to 100%, the angle jitter to 100%, and now if I paint on my canvas you'll see that it automatically rotates and resizes the brush as I paint. Next I'm going to fix the spacing of my snowflakes. So I'm going to come into the scattering panel and I want it to scatter on both axes and I'm going to set it to about 250%. Now if I paint on my canvas, you'll see that the snowflakes are a little farther apart. Now we're really getting somewhere. Next, I'll come into the transfer panel, and this is where I can adjust the opacity or the flow of my brush as I paint. So I'm going to set the flow to 50%. Now you can see if I paint on my canvas, some of the snowflakes are more transparent than the others. They're still bunched up a little bit, so I'm going to make one last tweak. If you come back into the brush tip shape menu area, you'll see spacing at the bottom. You can either increase the spacing to make your brush strokes farther apart, or you can turn off spacing altogether. If you turn spacing off completely, then when you paint on your canvas slowly, everything is bunched up, but if you paint quickly, you'll notice things are farther apart. Now I can create a new layer and use a somewhat big snowflake brush and paint across the top of my image to get a few snowflakes. Then I'll create one more layer and shrink my snowflake brush and start painting quickly across my entire image to get snowflakes on the whole thing. Scatter brushes can save a lot of time, especially if you have a graphics tablet with a pressure sensitive pen. And you can create cool effects like snowflakes, blades of grass, and a whole bunch of other things. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.